After Deep Seek, of course, we had Alibaba came out with Quen 2.5 Max, yeah. which is even more advanced. By the end of the week, personally, I thought tech across the board would take a bigger hit, but we saw other of the Mag 7 stocks doing quite well. But what we have seen, NVIDIA down 17% and Alibaba up. Was it Alibaba up? Yes, 17%. So we're seeing a bit of rotation here towards Chinese AI, open AI stocks. The chart here we have is NVIDIA, and you can see how that's clearly broken through support. It's been going sideways for, for many months now. But what's more concerning really is retail bought $900 million of NVIDIA stock last week. So when we see the institutional investors yeah. pulling out, we're seeing retail going back in. Again, yeah. not only is it not gone, it's gone sideways for about eight months. It's now going down and retail, it's the age old classic of retail adding yeah. to losing stocks. That's how they get hurt so much. It's just another example really of, of China's comparative advantage. Um, the US imposes a lot of sanctions on, on China. Those include the lithography machines that come from ASML that are used to produce the chips or NVIDIA chips themselves. They, they, they have they limited exports to China. Um, and this just creates a gap in the market for, chi for, for Chinese competition. Um, and apparently uh, Deep Seeker claiming they did it for like $5 million. Mm. They, they, they built this, whether that's true or not is, is, is still to be seen. I suspect there might've been a little bit of a helping hand from the CCP, but who knows? Um, nevertheless, it, it really shows how uh, the same thing that's happening in the electric vehicle market at the moment. Um, China's comparative advantage is, is pretty, pretty yep. mega.